Yummy. Yummy. You love dates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Love All right, no playing in the kitchen. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I had to give her one. <laughs> but I pitted out 12 dates here. As you can see, there's all the little pits. Actually, a couple more. But we're just going to just throw those away. Okay. And I'm just doing my simple recipe. Um, I found this a long time ago. It was either from the Chic Natural, Miss Kim, or it was from Sweet Potato Soul. So, um, but I think it was the Chic Natural. I was just trying to find it, the exact ingredients on her site. But I found another recipe instead. So, yeah. I'm just going to take these dates, put them in my little hand processor. Y'all know I'll be using this thing to end with some shredded coconut. Okay. And here we go. Already sweetened coconut. Okay. Coconut flakes. All from Audis, okay? The dates. I also and the grace. The dates are, hush, hush, hush. I can't hear. The dates I also got from Audis. That girl. She know I'm over here um, trying to record, right? <laughs> And here, I still have a lot of dates. We actually ate some already. But I think these 12 dates and maybe about a half a cup of coconut flakes and about, we've been eating these almonds too, <laughs> about a cup of almonds would be a nice little recipe to either make some flat little date cookies or balls. I don't know. I just saw that she had made some um, date cookies. They look like Samoa's. Um, style cookies so I don't know I may actually do that but she had them in chocolate and I've been having enough chocolate when I make my granola bars for home and I really want to stay away from eating too many sweets right now because your girl I just don't need that nanny so yeah I'm excited yay I'm excited about food <laughs> but I'm excited about making this treat because Anna Grace is loving them did you just take another one? Okay, so this is only a half a cup of almonds that I put in here. Um, I don't want to do a whole cup just because, just because my processor is so small. But I'm going to throw in just a little, like one layer of that half cup. So it's not three-fourths of a cup. It's just like a little over the half cup. Okay? Like a little overflow of the half cup. Okay. Okay. Don't play too close. So we're just going to give that a whirl. Processor works just fine right now. I'm not in a rush to buy a big one, and it's chopped up enough. I don't need a powder form, you know. Go ahead and side. Be very careful with the blade. With that. Now we're throwing these sticky, sticky, icky, icky dates. Okay. They're so yummy. Like, literally, I can just take a date after I open it up like this. And just, like, pit it. If I take After I take the pit out, I can literally take a date and just stick an almond or two inside and then just eat it. Or just pop it in my mouth and eat it that way. But this allows me to not carry um, too many items. I have to have too many bags after I, you know, when I'm making treats to take on the run, when I'm run errands and to the store or when baby girl wants a sweet treat and I want a sweet treat because like I got some cookies in the freezer I don't need to be having so here's the dates <gasps> oh. <laughs> the string got stuck the things are so sticky the string got stuck because it's so sticky I'm trying to speak louder to make sure you hear me but they're not really even turning hold on I didn't think I 
I don't think I made sure it was even properly on. Nope, it hasn't even been turned the whole time. That's the only thing about the little handheld one that I'm using. Um, there is one that the Chic Naturals uses, and it's a small handheld hand one, but it's motorized. Let's make sure this is on, Allison. Let's see if this helps. Ah, I feel it now. Ooh. Yeah. I should have felt this before. It's chopping it, but since they're so sticky. Ugh, it's definitely a workout. My goodness. And I only need it chopped up a little bit. Because again, whew, that was tight. Look at that. They've definitely been chopped up enough. They're literally all on one side. So, let's open that up. Just enough. And whatever else is not. Whichever one is not super perfect, I can just break apart with my hands. I think this is cool. Okay. Okay, so, here's the dates. Like, this is really mashed up. It looks like one big blob. It's glove. Yes, baby. Another glove is a tray. Yes, I do have another glove. So, this whole little pile of dates. I mean, where was dates at when I was growing up and snacking on prunes? I mean, prunes are okay, but dates has a, a better taste. Look at that. That is so much of a better taste. Okay. I only have this measuring cup here just to see what I've been using so I can keep track. Okay, there's the almond mixture. There's the dates. Okay. Now I'm just going to take the coconut and I'm just going to end up mashing this all by hand. Okay. Okay, so I definitely got about a cup worth of coconut in here. I was only going to do half of a cup, but then I was like, I want it to be a little extra crunchy. And I don't know why, but I'm thinking about throwing these in the oven. I'm just literally mashing all this together right now with my one glove as my daughter was yelling out, Mommy, your other glove. Well, I don't want to get anything sticky on my phone, so this helps to make sure that people... You know how people just forget that they have gloves on or they have gloves on and they think like, oh, nothing is going to be dirty if, like, if they keep their gloves on. Like their mindset is just so backwards. Like you have to take off your gloves, change, um, wash your hands and stuff, change your gloves. Like you can't just, especially if you'll be out, like when COVID first went out, I mean, can y'all, y'all remember that? When COVID happened, people were walking around with gloves, eating with their gloves on, touching their mask, changing their mask, blowing their nose, going to restaurants, touching doors, all with these gloves on, thinking like they were just to protect it. And these same gloves. I'm talking about like no changing and washing hands in between. It was like y'all are making yourself sick in other ways. Forget COVID. Like these sanitation habits. Like somebody need to be out here telling people how to properly use gloves. So this is like really thick. Uh, my arm is like, whew, feeling this burn right now. But I'm sorry, the lighting is probably really, really dark. But yeah, I'm thinking about making these into flat light cookies and baking them for a little bit. Or you know what, maybe I could put them in my dehydrator. The part of our Instant Pot, um air fryer like they, they, it has a dehydrated method on it and i actually tested it out last night playing around with some icing and some cookies just to test and it literally i, can, I saw the air was pushing my icing so i'm not liking that but maybe i'll have to put it in there for like one minute and i like really time it i don't want it to push my icing if i want to find a way to dry my cookies even faster so i can increase my orders you know no thank you but thank you so much thank you for the ice cream I appreciate it
Thank you for the ice cream, baby. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can you hold it for mommy? Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, just hold it for mommy. Oh, no, take it back in the other room, okay? Remember, no toys in the kitchen. Thank you. So, yeah, it's like one pretty hefty bra. It's, it's nicely mixed. That's for sure. It's going to be tasty. And I hear that a lot of these date balls are supposed to bring um, energy, too. Because I need it. Right now, I just need some... I'm about to make me a little instant coffee with this Keurig. Kawizen Arts Coffee Pod. Okay. So, yeah. Um, try this recipe. It was literally 12 whole dates pitted. One cup of sweet coconut flakes. And I used, what, a little over half a cup of unsalted whole almonds after I put them in the processor. And I'm just mashing it all together. You can shape it into whatever form you want. Like some people would just take a chunk and roll it. And then put them in the refrigerator. Because you want to store these in the fridge. Just store them in the fridge. I mean, I think they taste better cold. But it'd be a nice little chewy ball, whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to eat them. And it tastes all the same. But I'm going to put my other glove in so I can... Um, I'm going to put my other glove in. I'm going to put on my other glove just so I can go on ahead and um, make these patties out faster. And yeah, let me know. Have you made date balls before? Will you? Will you try this recipe? I seriously can't find the Chic and Actress recipe or the one that I know I used before. I thought I had one saved. But hey, if this works, I mean, it really is. And then some people may want more coconut. You can do that. You can put more coconut in if you want. Just be mindful that the more coconut you put in, um, you want to have enough dates to make it really, really sticky. And again, my dates weren't perfect, um, super, super tiny. But when you keep squeezing it, the more and more you work it and knead it, knead the dough, knead the dough. <laughs> The more you work at it, the more um, of a mixture, a form mixture you get, the more it solidifies, okay? So yeah, just keep that in mind because the coconut can be very drying where the date is your your binding agent. Now you can also do this with um, peanut butter. You can add a little peanut butter in there as well if you want. Oh, I was going to add cinnamon to this, but because my girlfriend... Um, Letty, when she posted that she made some date balls for the first time, I let her know about how I only use these three ingredients. But I like the idea of adding some cinnamon because cinnamon, you know, is a great agent into helping to regulate blood, sh um, blood sugar. And since that these dates are so naturally sweet, I don't want to add anything too heavy. And I'm always trying to keep my sugar in check. You know, I'm older and, you know, family and stuff like that. So, okay, yeah, this video is quite long just to be talking about these date balls. But right now, I'm just making these little date balls right here. And I think I'm going to make some fun and make them as a little cookie since they're so firm. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you. If you stay to this whole video, um, it's really not going to be edited like that because I just tried doing it off of my phone. I hope you still love it and enjoy it. Please like, share the video with someone, comment below that you're... That you watch it all the way to the end <laughs> or comment, you know, love you too, girl. And peace and many blessings to you and yours. And thank you again for watching.